Have you ever wanted to print and use images that you've made or that you've found onto water slide paper or to sticker paper and you haven't got a Cricut so you can't do print and cut but you want to use those images on projects or sell them as stickers. Well I'm going to show you a quick way of doing that. I've got some inkjet paper here that is the water slide and I've also got some inkjet printable paper which is the sticker paper and we're going to see how that goes. So what I've done here is I've created some images using Canva and you can get a free version of Canva which works brilliantly. I've got the pro version which is about £60 a year but I use it all the time. So I've created these images here using AI which is also available on Canva but these are just stock images they've got here. So I wanted some flowers and some different edges and things like that for a project but I want to test these out on both the papers. So I've downloaded these with background free to my desktop and all I need to do now is set up the different papers in my printer to be able to print these off. I'm going to do the flower one first. I'm going to set it to print and then here I'm going to use for the inkjet printable paper which is the one that has the sticky on it, I need to print on the shiny side. So I need to change this here from what it was and I'm going to change it to glossy photo paper and I want that set on as high a quality as I can, making sure that I'm sending it to the right printer. I'm using my cheap Canon coloured printer and I know that I have to put this in the back for this to work for me with the glossy side facing out. Then all I have to do is press print and then that should take that through and print that out. So that's the first one and as you can see that has come out really really glossy and beautiful. I think that has come out beautiful. Now like I said you could do this on the print and cut with your Cricut but not everybody has one. So this is the second lot that is coming out now. And again, it's coming out really well. Big thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And if you'd like to get me a coffee this month and get on my coffee board, the link for that is in the description below. So the glossy ones are printed out and now I have to print on this decal paper. It tells you which side to print on, which makes life a lot easier. So I'm popping that in my printer. Now all I'm going to do again with this one is set it as high quality but it's not glossy photo paper. So what I'm going to set it on my one is a cardstock because it is a thicker paper than normal. Just push print and then let it do its thing. These are all printed now. I've done both the water slide and the glossy sticker ones and they've come out really well. I would say that the glossy sticker ones are much more vibrant than the water slide ones but that might change in a minute. Now I'm going to put these to one side, the glossy ones, like that. And then with these ones you have to do another step before you can use them. So it says on here, Take the printer paper um, to a well ventilated space and apply an even coat of clear acrylic spray over the design. Allow spray, spray? Allow spray to dry for one minute. Apply two more coats, allowing each coat to dry for one minute. Let the paper dry for five minutes. Well, I've got this seals and protects. It's a clear acrylic spray. And I use this an awful lot because it's really good value. And I'm going to give those, each of them, a coat exactly as it suggests. Now I'm working here, I'm going to use my powerful extractor fan on here and I'm also going to work inside this box here so it catches everything. Doesn't matter which way round you put them. I'm going to put my mask on and my extractor fan and then spray away. Take that one out, let that dry for a minute and while that's drying all I'm going to do is the next one. And then I'll repeat that three times until they're all well and truly covered. Well, these have all dried well now. I left them for five minutes and actually they are very dry. I was quite surprised. It now suggests that you cut them out individually, leaving about a three millimeter. So a gap about that big all the way around each one. So that's what I'm going to do for those. And I'm also going to do the same as that 
for these ones as well, which are on the glossy paper. All I'll be using is a blade or a pair of scissors to cut it out with. Probably a pair of scissors, actually. I think that might be easier. Yeah, that's going to be much easier using just a pair of scissors going around there than trying to mess around with the blade. Not that I'm very good at cutting out a circle, evidently, with a three millimeter border. <laughs> but there we go, you know what I mean. These are all cut out now and ready to be used. Now what I've done is, for the sake of this video, is I've done one where I haven't put any of the acrylic spray on and I've done one here with the acrylic spray on. I've got warm water as it says, but not hot. And now I'm gonna pop those in there for 30 seconds to a minute and see what happens. Well already I can see that the ink is starting to come off of this one and that's the one that hasn't been sprayed i don't know if you can see it if the camera's picking it up but you can actually see that ink is just coming off where on this one the ink is completely set but look look at that one that one is really starting to fade out you can see some of the ink here big blob there big blob there so it definitely needs spraying there is no doubt about it now because these are on transparent paper i'm not sure what they're going to look like on something like this which is black and this is my new sketch and scrapbook and I'll, talk, I'll tell you about that in a second let's leave these for a minute i'm not supposed to be taking them out look but i'm going to for this you really can just see the difference in those pop that back in the water well that should have had long enough now i think that will come off there yeah it's starting to slide on there but i couldn't use that one now the colors have faded far too much so what i'm going to do is see how this one works out on this scrapbook that i've got here and what you have to do is you put that on there slide it slightly forward you then get hold of the paper like this pull that forward and because that's transparent you are not going to see that. So what I need to do, which is what I was intending to do anyway, I'm going to take that off. I don't really want to waste it and put it back on its back in, is I'm going to paint my scrapbook cover here with some white acrylic paint. And this is going to be my floral scrapbook. It's going to have a lot going into it. And once I've got everything that I want to go into it, then I'll show you how I'm going to sketch in it and all things, but in a different video. Well, this is all lovely and dry now. I left a bit of a board around it just for some fun. Now, I'm not going to put the dragon on it in this bit. What I'm going to do is see what it looks like putting it on this grey. But I am going to put the flowers on because this is going to be more of a floral sketch and scrapbook. Putting these into some warm water and I'll leave them for 60 seconds. So that's at 60 seconds now and I'm going to start pulling these out. I'm using a pair of tweezers so I'm trying not to get water everywhere. So that one now looks like it's ready. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Yeah, and they show up so much better on the white, look. And it does say on the thing, you can take a bit of kitchen roll and you can dab off any excess water and any little bubbles that are caught underneath you can just move them with your finger and it does actually feel quite robust and then they'll lay nice and flat they do seem to be laying nice and flat i love it absolutely love it now that is an hour ago and the difference is with spraying them is just remarkable well i think i'm in love with that new water slide stuff so let's see how the stickers got on they were slightly more vibrant, but again, they're on a transparent film. So I need to ensure that, oh yeah, they come out lovely on that grey, look. And they've worked really, really well. I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish these off and then we can do a quick comparison. Well, I think they've come out brilliant. I absolutely love them. And that's going to save me a lot of money buying stickers and these kind of water slide decals as well. Because I can make my own and have a far bigger variety available to me they printed so easily everything works so well i hope you found this useful if you've been using these for a long time let me know in the comments and what you use them for and how you use them if it's different from me and i'm definitely going to be trying these in resin very very soon as well boot the like button hit that subscribe button but most of all make sure you enjoy your crafting take care bye